Fremantle forward Hayden Ballantyne has been handed a two-week suspension for a behind-the-play incident with Geelong's Paul Chapman on Saturday night. The incident was captured on the AFL's behind-goal camera. The Dockers will almost certainly accept the penalty. What left Chapman keeled over like this was revealed today. At every game, the AFL has a camera behind the goals and it captured the moment of impact. Valentine's body blow assessed as intentional and medium impact. His poor record drawing a two-match suspension. On the day, it prompted a bit of a spray from the Cats coach and then later this from Matthew Scarlett. Oh, no, that's... Scarlett has just dropped... The six-time All-Australian faces a three-match ban for the hit. The Cats clearly not happy at training today, but on Twitter there was support for Scarlett's hit. Gold Coast son Trent McKenzie suggesting he did most people a favour, but the league won't be cracking down on the sledging. That doesn't um, mean you can condone retaliation. I mean, players today are above that, and they've just got to learn how to deal with someone who who irritates them. With an early guilty plea, James Kelly will escape suspension for striking Tendai Mazungu. And at the Eagles today, 29-year-old Quinton Lynch revealed just how desperate he is to win another premiership. I tell you, I'd love to win another one. You know, everyone knows I haven't got much left time left in footy and so I'll be pushing everything out of my body and everything out of this group to get done in the near future. Adrian Barrage, 7.